Hello friends, welcome back to Clockwise Learning. There is only one resource we can't get back, that resource is time. In today's video, we are going to learn about the significance of time and why time is the most precious resource. What role do clocks play in organizing and guiding our daily activities? The term clockwise is derived from the traditional design of clocks with hour and minute hands that move in a direction corresponding to the natural progression of numbers on the clock face. Clocks have been designed to mimic the apparent motion of the sun across the sky in the northern hemisphere where it appears to move from left to right. Let us emphasize that. Time teller and timekeeper are metaphors and not literal description. As clocks are human made device, the earth and the moon are the celestial objects governed by physical laws. Let's get into more details and analyze few examples in our day-to-day -day activities that helps us to understand the use of clockwise direction. Clock is a circle with three hands and each hand moves clockwise at a different speed. And when we tighten a screw, we tighten it clockwise. Let's take any lid or knob. We close it clockwise. Compass, which has been used since ancient time by sailors and other travelers to find directions, are always measured clockwise from north. The fact that the bearing is always measured clockwise from north is extremely important. All these activities that we see are done clockwise. So let us learn how the movement of the earth helps in timekeeping. Earth is not completely round, that is, it is not a sphere. Instead, we use the term oblique sphere with an imaginary tilted axis. We have seen the sunset. Maybe if we get up early enough, we can see its rise too. But have you wondered where does it go when we can't see it? Well, nowhere but it's actually us that goes somewhere because we are on the earth and our planet is always turning or spinning on its axis. What is an axis? An imaginary line passing through the center of the earth that goes both through the North Pole and the South Pole. We call this invisible line the axis. Earth spins around on its axis like a top. This spinning moment is called earth rotation and earth rotation is what gives us day and night, every day, all the year. Earth is actually moving in more ways than one. At the same time, the earth spins on its axis and it also orbits or revolves around the sun. This movement is called revolution. One full orbit around the sun is one revolution and it takes 365 days or one year to complete its revolution and this helps causing season. So let us find how moon helps in timekeeping. Moon is a scalene ellipsoid with imaginary tilted axis as same as the earth. Do you know why we see only one side of the moon? For that we need to understand two things, rotation and revolution of the moon. Rotation is the movement of the moon around its axis and revolution is the movement of the moon around the earth. The unique characteristics of the moon is that it rotates around its axis in exactly the same time it revolves around the earth. In more simpler terms, time required for one full rotation equals time required for one full revolution. This type of rotation is known as synchronous rotation. It is due to synchronous rotation, we can only see one side of the moon. It is because the earth forces the moon to rotate once in every revolution by its gravitational pull. This gravitational force is called tidal locking. So now you know the importance of the movement of the earth and moon in time keeping and time telling. Thank you for watching, hope our channel help to learn 
be entertained and be inspired with factual information. Please share this video with your friends and subscribe for more extraordinary videos. We'll see you in our upcoming videos. Thank you.